It's hard to find peace in this world where hearts and minds constantly face triggers in our inner and outside world. Here are some spiritual habits that have been saving me every day, giving me the glimmer of hope and strength I need to keep going. I've always enjoyed reading, but only when I started to get interested into spiritual scriptures and self-reflective books has reading really started to take an important place in my life. Looking into higher truths and diving into my inner world have been key factors for pursuing this life and make sense out of it. I particularly like books on the Bhakti Yoga practice, teaching about love, devotion, and connection to God as a way of living. Singing must be my favorite one, though maybe the one I practice less. I like to sing different melodies for the Maha Mantra. The mantra brings me back to my soul and my connection to God. And singing and playing instruments help me channel my emotions in a way that is uplifting and productive for my spiritual practice. When I'm sulking and spiraling down, singing brings some of the nourishment I feel I need in the moment. Since moving into a spiritual community, like-minded friendships have been my sweetest blessing. I forever feel grateful for the time spent with friends with whom I feel loved and supported. The presence and support of spiritual people around me has been very helpful for my mind, my heart, and my spirituality. Every day, I try to make some time for my personal relationship with God. I'll speak to Him about my day, my thoughts, my feelings. I'll offer some prayers and chant some mantras and maybe read from our spiritual literatures out loud. I like to spend time with Him like I would with another person. There's something very fulfilling about sharing a personal connection with Krishna. Talking to him is like talking to an intimate friend. In this way, divinity feels more real, and I feel more loved, more cared for. It might be a little awkward at first, but this is one of my most fulfilling practices. We keep a lot inside and some things no one can really understand, but God can. And the loving reciprocation that comes from divinity is unimaginable. The last spiritual habit I practice every single day is mantra meditation. So it's chanting the Maha Mantra repetitively in a meditative mood. It can be done for any amount of time but I chant for at least two hours throughout the day, every day. This spiritual practice is very effective when done with intention. Naturally, practicing this chanting, whatever issue I have, whether mental, emotional, physical, or else, seems to find resolution in a way or another. It helps to let go of control and reconnect to what really matters. That practice can be done anywhere, at home, in nature, out on a walk. The mantra can be chanted out loud or in our mind. You can try it. Whenever you have some time. I'll put it in the description. Thank you.